You know, today I'm removing these fuel injectors on my 1983 300SD because I want to test them. I want to see how well they're spraying. I want to see how well balanced they are. This is one of those jobs I never really look forward to doing that much because it tends to be messy and smelly. So this past week, Jerse and I set out to find a cleaner way, a faster way. And literally after testing my prototype over here today, I have never tested a set of fuel injectors so quickly as I did earlier this afternoon. So I'm gonna pull these five injectors out and bring you over to the bench. I'm gonna run through the whole sequence of testing five injectors and let's see how long it takes. So watch now as I do this. I've got these five injectors. I laid them out in the order they came out. There's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna show you the clock and then the idea is how fast can I test five and get a pretty good idea whether these need to be rebuilt, cleaned, or whether I can use them as is. Okay, take a look at the clock. It's just coming up on 3.30. I've filled up the jar. I've set up all my hoses. I'm going to pump the fluid through until I get all air out. Now I know I've thoroughly bled the pump and I'm gonna hook up number one. And we'll tighten it down. Okay, and I'll lift this up and seal it. Okay, make sure this is tight. Okay, we're gonna bring it up here, we're gonna watch the release pressure. I'm gonna take a look at the spray pattern. Okay, it's releasing at 2,000 PSI. Okay, the spray pattern is pretty even and pretty fine. So that looks pretty good, but it is kind of spraying a little on the high side, okay? I mean, that's the high side for a turbo diesel. So now I'm gonna release the pressure. I'm gonna take and take this one off. What's nice now when I release this and move this down like this, when I remove this injector, it kind of drips right into the bottle, okay? There's number one. Okay, let's watch the gauge. Up, 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 up. Oh, over 2,000. Once again, it's got a nice spray pattern. It's got a nice chirp to it. So those two are pretty well balanced, even though they are a little on the high side. Goes number three. Coming up, two thousand. Nice chirp. Nice fine mist spray pattern. It's fairly even, although it is shooting off the side a little bit. This one shows signs of some wear because it's shooting off to the side. So we're going to take a closer look at that tip. Number four, watch the pressure. That one's releasing at about 2,050 PSI. 
Now this one is pretty much squirting straight down. Not a, a fan pattern, but it's pretty much squirting straight down. Doesn't have quite the chirp that the other three had. So that's a question mark. comes number five. Fifteen hundred? Oh, look at that. <laughs> this one's pretty bad. Look at it squirting. And it's not chirping at all. Look at this. I'm bringing it up to about, oh, right around eighteen hundred. And it's leaking down very badly. I'll leave this one on and we'll take a look at a couple of these and discuss some of these results. But in less than 10 minutes, I have finished testing five diesel fuel injectors. It's now 334. I want to revisit number five here. And maybe you'll be able to see better what I'm talking about in terms of this is not spraying. It's literally squirting. I'm not joking. So watch closely. I'm going to bring it up to about 1,700 PSI. Can you see that? It's squirting, and it's squirting off to the side, so this is real bad. Can you imagine how much fuel you'd be wasting running down the road? You know, that's the thing about these old diesels. They'll run almost anything in any amount of fuel, but your fuel consumption will go to pot when you have bad fuel injectors, and you'll also be losing a lot of power. Now I'm going to take a look at number three and number four again, because those were the other two that were in question. Let's take a closer look at these tips. Can you see the tip there? See how concave that is? How much metal has worn away? That's supposed to be perfectly flat. So that usually means that this tip's been leaking fuel and the fuel's been burning around there, taking away metal. This is not a good looking injector nozzle tip. And look at this one. This one's just as bad. So these injectors need to be rebuilt. There's no way that cleaning these is going to help when they have these type of tips that are severely worn. If you've tested as many injectors as I have, you can probably understand why I'm so excited about this. Look, in like six, seven minutes, I tested five injectors, and other than just a few drips of fuel right here, look at this, this is all clean. All this hose is going out one of the windows in my shop. I didn't have to breathe the fumes. It's pretty exciting even for me. And if you have one of my older style pressure testers, we're gonna make a retro kit for that so you can set it up so it can run on one bottle like you see here. So we're real proud of this version 3 upgrade because it's going to allow you to test a full set of fuel injectors without ever having to add any additional fuel to the bottle. So I know you're going to enjoy this new version of our pressure tester because you can test a set of fuel injectors a lot faster and with much less mess on the bench.